Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 33, I believe? In the last episode, we completed everything that we could do on Two Island and came here to Three Island and defeated the biker gang that was trying to take over the island for some reason. So these guys are pretty happy that we did that for them. Uh, I beg your pardon, you're looking for Listel? So, we are continuing to look for the guy at the game corners daughter, Lostel, who went to Berry Forest, which rumor has it, is invaded by ghosts. Bond Bridge, please be quiet when crossing. Okay. We're going to be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits today. So there's no new Pokemon that you can find here on Bond Bridge. Uh, although if you didn't pick up a Violet Plume, I mean a, a, a Gloom, so that you can get Violet Plume, or a Weeping Bell, you can pick them up now as well. I believe we've gone over them in bios though, so I'm not going to really talk too much about them. Um, obviously, Vile Plume is very tanky. Uh, Victory Bell is actually a very good Pokemon. Uh, one that I highly recommend picking up for your team if you don't already have a mixed attacker. Uh, and right here is a double battle. Uh, we'll, s we'll show you our favorite Pokemon. Alright, Meg. Twins, Joy and Meg would like to battle. They're going to send out a Clefairy and a Clefairy. Way to... Um I left my HM slave out front, which is bollocks. Uh, so we're gonna use double kick, which will be able to uh, finish it off. And then I'm just I'm just gonna use stun spore because why not, Paris? Uh, um, and we will be able to take down that Clefairy in that one hit, no problemo. Uh, I don't even know what just happened. Oh, it w uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we will use Double Kick yet again, and that will take down Clefairy, no problem. Look at that! Paris survived! I wonder if Paris will get a level. No, because they barely gave us any experience for that. Oh, joy! 888 Poke Dollars for winning, which is not terrible. Uh, they're not going to say anything. Wasn't that fun? It was alright. I didn't have the best of times, or the worst of times. Right there, there is an item, which I knew there would be. Um, which is why I- Ah! No, Gloom, don't! I'm busy! I'm- F you, I'm busy! All right, so we can go ahead and grab this, which is going to be a Max Repel, which I should probably use. Uh, and we can go ahead and fight this trainer real quick, which is a required trainer. The, uh, this is interesting. So she's got a Bulbasaur that we're going to be able to wipe out with uh, one use of Mega Horn because Mega Bug is obviously super effective against Grass. Uh, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. And an Ivysaur, which is super cool. Uh, I don't think that we've seen this line. Um, of Pokemon because we've been obviously um, uh, fighting th our rival has Squirtle is what I'm trying to say and can't formulate thoughts because I'm stupid. Alright, so we were able to take out Ivysaur. Uh, look at that. Level 46 Topher. You're, my Pokemon are way too powerful. Absolutely way too powerful. And another Ivysaur, which is unfortunate. I was really, really hoping that the third Pokemon would be Venusaur, because we haven't actually seen a Venusaur yet, and as soon as we do, we'll actually be doing the bios for the three starter uh, final evolutions. And that will take it out in one hit as well. I could have sworn Bug is super effective against Grass. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Oh, wow, that didn't kill it in one hit. So we got the low end on that, and not the high end, which is too bad. Uh, our evasiveness fell, not a huge deal. Topher with leftovers is actually incredibly strong. Um, I would never normally give it leftovers, but, uh, it's actually doing very well with it. And Ivysaur will go down, we'll get another thousand experience points, and Aroma Lady Violet will be defeated, and we'll get a thousand Poke Dollars! That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Alright, so I don't think there's any items over here. There's one more trainer, it looks like, that we'll have to deal with. Uh, it looks like a little child. A little child. Tuber Alexis would like to battle. She's going to send out a Staryu. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and see you. Oh, perfect. Great. Um, normally I would never stay in on this with a Nidoking, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, okay, and a Krabby. Alright, uh, we're out of PP. You just use Rock Slide. It's not gonna be, you know, the best thing, but alright. We'll switch. I, uh, we don't have Raichu, so we're just gonna switch to Luna, so Luna will have some action. Uh, Krabby's an actual pretty defensive Pokemon. We haven't gone over the bio for Krabby yet, even though we could have gotten it for a very long time. Um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, in one of the shorter episodes, I don't know which one yet, we'll be going over all of the bios of all of the Pokemon that you can get while fishing. It kind of depends on how short episodes tend to be. So let's actually move Luna, uh, because she's our lowest level Pokemon right now. She did hit level 39, which is good. We're going to move her out front so that she can kind of try to do stuff a little bit easier here. Uh, or gain levels a little bit easier. Because she's, she's going to be able to actually do decent stuff. Uh, and another Poliwag, so 
everything that we've seen before. Wham wham. Only 136 Poké Dollars. You suck. Right here, we'll be able to fix. Oh, okay. Uh, the salty tang of the sea. It tickles my heart. Uh, so she has a Bell Sprout and a Weeping Bell and probably another Weeping Bell, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Level 40. All right. Oh no, we defeated her. I thought she had three Pokemon. We get a thousand Poké Dollars for winning there, which is always a very good money, 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 money. Uh, and I don't think there's any items in here. Right here is the entrance to Berry Forest. Berry Forest is ahead. So we are going to use a Max Repel here in Berry Forest. This is a very straightforward place. However, Berry Forest is also incredibly, incredibly important um, if you are playing this game and you have a love for, let's say, uh, berries. Because there are no berry trees like there are in the second gen in this game, you won't actually be able to... Now, I actually think that this this berry is up there, so we can't actually get it. Welcome to the berry forest. Be friendly and share berries with others and Pokemon. So, there aren't any for, uh, any trees. So, this is the only place that berries will reappear. They Because there's no time um, thing here... There's actually one right in front of us, isn't there? No? Okay. Because there... There's definitely an item right there. I'm literally looking at it. That's so strange. That's so strange. Okay, so because there are no time measuring things here, they do it by steps in this game. So there's one definitely right there. So we get an Orin Berry. Uh, there are, there is one new Pokemon that we should actually talk about here in Berry Forest. So let's take a look at that Pokemon right now. So everything that I pretty much want to say about Hypno, I have said in the past with Drowsy, and if you really wanted Hypno on your team, you probably would have gotten Drowsy way back in Vermilion City, which was the third gem of the entire game, back when we fought Lieutenant Surge and did the SSN and all that stuff, was the earliest that you could find Drowsy, so you probably already have this Pokemon. Now it is worth mentioning that Hypno is a 5% encounter rate uh, in Berry Forest, however, you can also absolutely 100 percent of the time run into them from rescuing Lestel. So, uh, it evolves from Drowsy at level 26. Its ability Insomnia is pretty decent, uh, but I really don't think its stats help it that much. It is a very special uh, tank, if you will. It does have a relatively high HP, and it does have a very high special defense, so it can take a special hit, and being psychic, uh, most things are just going to kind of wash off of it. It's not really weak to any uh, special attacks in this game that I can really think of right now. Um, but it's worth mentioning. Also, its Pokedex entry is just absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. So pretty much at this point, as you can tell, we're running into a lot of Pokemon that are literally just evolutions and not necessarily new, uh, which is fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. All uh, right, so let's go and see where this final thing is. I think it's right. Okay, it's literally right there. We can see it. Um, that's the good thing about berries and whatnot, is you can actually see them. Um, I'll just go ahead and pop my item finder every so often anyways, just because I don't really want to miss anything just because it's on camera, you know what I mean? Uh, and this one is obviously right here. There are some items that we can get in here, but... So it is also worth mentioning, in case, in case you're like on a berry farming thing, uh, the berries will reappear every 512 steps. So as long as you take 512 steps, you will have like an infinite supply of berries. I highly, highly recommend um, picking up berries. They're much better than like burn heels and ice, you know, ice heels and all of that stuff. They're cheaper. You can use them in battle. Uh, you can use them if your Pokemon's holding them. You can't actually like use them in battle. Um, right here, we can find a, po uh, a full heal. And you can surf right there too and get the same Pokemon that you could have gotten uh, earlier. So Slowbro, Golduck, um, uh, Psyduck, Slowpoke. You know, that type of stuff. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is, well, one, obviously, an item right here. So, Repel did wear off. So, we're going to go ahead and just reuse that real quick. And Berry Forest is not, like, it is a dungeon. It's actually one of the few dungeons that's on Sevi Islands. But not one that I would say is, like, by any way, you know, hard or challenging or confusing. Uh, and right there, we can get a Cherry Berry. So, we're, we're rocking and rolling on the berries. I could have sworn... Um, if I'm not mistaken, there was another item in this area. No? Hmm. No? Okay. Beware of wild berry-loving Pokemon. So right here, we start to get into this grassy area. Now, Lestelle did come here to pick... Oh! I wonder who this is. So before we do anything, 
Let's just go ahead and grab this real quick. There is an item right on the other side, so we'll make sure we grab that. Okay, let's talk to, hopefully, Lestelle. It's Lestelle! Whimper, sniff, oh, please help! A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. I kept, it kept scaring. It kept scaring. It made Lestelle scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh no, here it comes again. No, go away, it's scaring me. Wah! And, here we go. One of the new Pokemon that you can find, it is Hypno! Uh, yeah, so if I was alone in a dark forest and I was a little child, and a Hypno, this old looking grandpa man with like this weird neck beard thing and a pendulum started like creepily coming out of the woods. Yeah, no, I'd probably shit myself. I would probably just defecate uh, all over, all over. So it is worth mentioning that this is a female Hypno. So, I mean, it's not an old man. <laughs> It's not an old man. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and and, and uh, potentially catch this Pokemon. Uh, which is good if you don't, you know, if you didn't evolve your Drowsy uh, ages ago. You get to add one pretty much for free to your Pokedex right here. So we'll just go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and throw another one. Nope. Uh, so we did end up, you know, losing there. Uh, we're going to switch to Poseidon because Poseidon is such a good, um, a good tank. And Ultra Ball again. Okay. All right, dude. Get in the Ultra Ball. And we caught him in a Great Ball because why the hell not? All right. So his data was added to the Pokedex. Hypno, it carries a pendulum-like device. There once was an incident in which it took away a child. Oh, okay. That's terrifying. Uh, we're not going to give it a nickname uh, because I don't... I don't even... I don't even know. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Lestelle came to pick some berries. You can have this. And we will get the I Papa. I... Yeah, Papa. Hey, Papa. All right, I'm going to stop that. What's your name? Listel's scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. Unfortunately, once you talk to her, uh, you will be taken all the way to Two Island and have to go back through Berry Forest to get all of the items. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cut real quick, do that, and then come back. All right, back where we found Listel, uh, obviously there were some items we missed, so I just want to make sure that we get them for you uh, so that you know what they are and you see them and and everything else because that would be awful if I uh, went through this without actually showing you guys all of the things that you can do. Now, I don't have a, a max repel because we're just going to go through this real quick. Uh, I don't know if there's one right there. No, of course not. So we'll go ahead and use cut right here. There was that item that we missed that was uh, right above that we could see from where we got Lestelle, which is going to be a max ether, which is recommended that you do come and pick that up because obviously max ethers are fairly rare items uh, in this game. Now, I could have sworn that there was another item Item as well that we could have gotten uh, but I'm not I, I'm not finding it anywhere um, I could have sworn there were three maybe we got three and I just didn't notice there should have been a max ether and full heal uh, and a max elixir but those are the items uh, the full heal obviously not a huge issue you can buy those uh, the max elixir and the max ether are the things that I would recommend grabbing uh, the max eli elixir should actually be south of the bottom most water uh, so let's see if we can actually find that real quick. Okay, so back right where we found Lestelle. If we go down here, I actually just totally missed this uh, this portion of water right here. You actually have to go through, use cut here. Uh, this is why it's it's like a, you know, you got to use cut over and over and over and over and over um, to get this item because it's actually a very, very good item. So I'm glad that I came down and showed you this because I would have felt like poo. I would have felt like poo. The completionist side of me would have cried myself to sleep if I missed that. So there's no there's no berries or anything that we can get here, so we'll just go ahead and use that. And... And... And we got the max elixir. So we got all the items that are, like, actual items, and the berries, of course, will come back every 512 steps. Alright, cut back to Island 2 and Lestelle. Alright, back on 2 Island. Lestelle, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Cory. What up? Listen, listen. Please show me you being cool again. Let's talk to this- Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. And we will hand Lestelle's daddy the meteorite that we received from Bill. Uh, so that was our whole goal here. You know you've been fantastic. I want you to have this, and he will give us a moonstone. Uh, obviously we don't really need that anymore, but we have one anyways. I'll get the game corner writing, running right away. You have to come visit with a friend. And we can come talk to this guy. We'll get the games going soon for you. 
And uh, that's pretty much all that you can do here in two islands. So we'll head to uh, to one island and get that done. And get and just get that shit done. All right, so now we find ourselves back on one island after completing everything that we could do on two and three island as of right now anyways. So let's go ahead and talk to Bill. Oh, hey, Corey. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? Well, I did beat up these bikers and then I saved Lestelle from a pedophile Pokemon. Uh, the job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? Guys, can you stop flirting? I'm literally right here. Well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. Corey, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around the islands someday. All right, so we'll head back to Kanto. This is the only way that you can go back to Kanto. Once you go to the islands, you're obviously stuck there. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. That's where SS Anne was. Uh, now, we can go back there and go to the islands at any time. Now, you can't fly there. You have to go there. So now we find ourselves back in Kanto, and we have two side quests that we are going to complete in hopefully an episode each. The next episode, we're going to check out a route that is above Cerulean City to the side, now that we have Surf and everything else that we need, where I hear there's a legendary Pokemon at the power plant. Mm. Remember, guys, uh, to drop a like on the video and comment, letting me know if, you're, uh, if you enjoy the Sevi Islands inclusion to Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I personally think it's a nice touch, and it gets even better after the post-game, so I enjoy it. Thank you all for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender. Sometimes I wonder why I'm single.